All right. At this point, we have a roof on our building. We're going to take a break from the exterior of the building. We're going to go back inside and work on adding some floors. So I'm going to close out of this 3D view. And I'm going to come over here to Project Browser and make sure that I'm on 01 lower level. I'm going to come up here to the Architecture tab and I'm going to look for the Floor tool. We get a very similar Modify ribbon that opens up. And this one just verify up here at the top that it says Creating a Floor Boundary. And instead of doing it like we did the roof with a line and a picking a wall at this point, we're just going to pick lines. I'm going to verify that offset here is set to zero. And I'm going to come up here to my north wall and I'm just going to start picking the lines coming counterclockwise around the building. When I get right here, I need to zoom in and get this little piece. Come on around here, selecting the rest of my lines. Make sure you get the interior, not the exterior of a, a wall. And I need to zoom in and get this little piece here. If we don't have a closed loop, we'll get an error message. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the green check mark. We get this message here. It says, would we like it to attach to the bottom? We're going to say no. All right. With this still selected, I'm going to come over here to the west elevation. And I want to take a look at the side of my building here. And I need to change my visual style. So down here at the bottom of the drawing area, we have some little uh, quick access buttons. We're going to change our visual style from, I believe it's on hidden line at this point, we're going to change it to wireframe. And if we zoom in here, we can hover and we'll see that it says floors on our cursor and then we can see our floor in there. All right, below this would be just a little crawl space area to get to for utilities or maintenance or whatever. So once we verify we have our floor in the right place, we can close out of this west elevation. All right. While we're adding floors, we're going to go ahead and add floors to the second level, the entry level of the house. We're going to go ahead and choose O2 entry level in Project Browser. That'll open up that level. We're going to go ahead and click the Floor tool, just like before. Here on the Modify section, uh, we're going to do things just a little bit differently this time. We're going to do it by drawing lines. All right. We're going to verify that the chain option is selected so we can draw one line after another without it ending. And we're going to start down here in the southwest corner of our building and we're going to click the endpoint. We're going to come up here and click the north endpoint. All right. From here on out we're going to enter some measurements. This first measurement out along the north wall is going to be 36 feet. We're going to type 36. Whoops, then a little foot marker. Press enter. From there, I'm going to pull straight down towards the south wall, and I'm going to type in 16 feet. I have to put the little foot mark. No space, 6 inches. Make sure you hit shift and get the 6 inch little double tick mark. I'm going to press enter. Then I'm going to come out to the right. Okay, make sure that I'm horizontal, and I'm going to type in 25 feet. Okay, then I'm going to come down, and we're going to type in 4 feet, 6 inches. Then I'm just going to bring this straight back across. It should line up, and we're going to stop at our start point, all right? Because again, this has to be a closed loop. Otherwise, we'll get an error message. I'm going to click. Then I'm going to come up here to the green check mark, the Finish Edit Mode button, and click that. With this message here again, we're going to hit No. Majority of the time for that, when you're creating a floor, you're going to hit No. Last thing that we want to do here with this created, we're going to take a look at this in the 3D mode zoom in here a little bit we can see that we have the floor coming out this is going to add as a little balcony area uh, once we continue on with the house so now we have that floor in there if we hover over that we can see our footprint so once you have that you can go ahead and take a look here at the other side if you'd like not much going on but you can see that balcony sticking out we come back to this view I'm going to go ahead and save the project and then I'm ready to move on.